I make more than $4,000 per month tax-free because I transitioned out of the military the right way. I also helped thousands of veterans who wish they would have done these three steps when leaving the military. So by the end of this video, you're not gonna be fooled by the fake out-processing checklist that your leadership's gonna give you because we're gonna have the real checklist. I'm Jordan Anderson with vaclaimsacademy.com. Let's get into it. We all know the checklist, right? That three page document that you're gonna to have to do without processing. They're going to tell you to, hey, go here and debrief on this, go there, talk with this person. And they're gonna find, you know, hand you a form. They're going to put you through the TAPS in the Air Force, it was called the TAPS program. It might be different for Army or whatnot, but basically the transition assistance program. You go in there, you basically learn baby's first financial class, right? Oh, this is how you open a bank account. I'll tell you, this is going to be the thing that really no one's preparing you for, but you need to share this with people because this sets you up for the future. Let's get into it. Here's what my veterans are wishing they had done in your exact shoes, the opportunity that you have right now to shape your entire future. This is MHS Genesis, MHS Genesis. Go ahead and search that and, you know, uh, as part of your out-processing process, because what is this? This is your medical record. You can go ahead and download your full medical record from MHS Genesis and actually see the fact that most of the doctors or some of the doctors that have told you, hey, you have X, Y, Z condition. Oh, it looks like your back is in pain. You have you know, a lumbosacral strain. They'll tell you this verbally and you'll look and try to confirm that and realize that you were never actually diagnosed. You could be missing out on $600, $1,000, $2,000 per month tax-free for the rest of your life because someone didn't write something down and actually diagnose when you were supposed to be. How much more of a difference do you think that makes on your financial future rather than, you know, Barbie's first finance class? That's why this is so important. So make sure you go to MHS Genesis online portal and you confirm that every single condition that you've suffered in your service is actually diagnosed. And if it's not, well, you got work to do, right? Between now and your date of separation, you essentially should be living at the doctor's office until they set that record straight. Because once you get out, it could be much more of a pain in the neck to actually get things service connected that you've actually suffered in service. And my lovely team just informed me, it's spelled with an E and not an I. There you go, Jerry. Now, it's not enough to just confirm, because this is what you're doing, right? You're verifying that, hey, you did your job serving, you're about to transition out. Now is the time to verify that everyone else who is supposed to be supporting you has done their job correctly because you don't want that rude awakening later. The next thing to check is your personnel records because what happens if you had combat PTSD from an operation in Bahrain or you know an operation in Afghanistan, Iran, or what have you, and your personnel records don't even display that you've ever been there. What happens if you had a traumatic event on a TDY and your personnel records weren't kept properly? Well, that's something that you wanna get fixed while you're still in because they're gonna act like they don't even know who you are once you get out, right? So that's number two, your personnel records. Verify, check that that is correct. I have a client right now who's going through that exact process where you know she had combat-related PTSD and her record says, hey, what are you talking about? You weren't in this theater of war. Well, yes, she was. And it's a big time hassle to deal with. By the way, if this video is providing you some value outside of the, the fake out processing checklist, do me a favor, hit the like button, sound off with your thoughts below, and definitely share this with someone who needs it. Let's get into the third check. Now, this is for my guard or reserve members. Y'all are special, right? So the military is gonna kinda try to treat you like you're not as important as active duty. That's not news that you're hearing that, right? So what you need in addition to checking whether you're diagnosed for conditions, you're gonna need something special called an LOD. This is a line of duty determination. And we're going to have to check that our leadership, or if you haven't gotten this already, whenever you're diagnosed with a condition, as a result of you know your service and you're not on active duty orders, you're gonna to need to go to your leadership almost immediately after getting diagnosed 
and request an LOD, a line of duty determination, so that the VA can later verify, okay, yeah, this condition, this, you know, airman, this soldier didn't just slip on a banana peel on their, you know, off week and hit their, hit their knee. They were hurt because of service. That will make or break your claims oftentimes. So that way you're not having to pay thousands of dollars for Nexus letters and try to prove that, hey, it was actually service. This can save you a ton of effort. Get a line of duty determination. Okay, lastly, before we recap, don't overthink the VA disability claims process. What I mean by this is I have a lot of active duty who calls me up and talks about, hey, you know, I'm trying to, trying to do these secondary claims with this, this, and that. And I said, you know, let's back up. Didn't you say you're currently active duty? Yes, but I have this secondary to that. It doesn't matter. Secondary conditions shouldn't really even be in your vocabulary because if you're diagnosed, boom, I'm verified, I'm diagnosed during my service, that's a primary claim. Hey, I've diagnosed during service. I didn't have it before service. This will get service connected. Keep it very simple. Military uh, uh, disability claims while you're active duty are the easiest. They are so simple. You just gotta nail the basics, trust, but verify that everyone's keeping your records correct. I really hope this helped you out. Again, share this with someone who needs it because there are loads of folks who do. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.